Often in the field, I'm asked a lot of questions about the Whitehawk. A lot of guys will ask, how does it work? Why does it work? Why does it cost what it costs? Well, we thought it might be a good idea to bring you guys into the factory, and we'll show you all the details that go into the Lighthawk to give you a better idea of what it's worth, how it works, how you can count on it, and really how dependable it is. Let's go see what the engineers and the professional production people here at Brightstar have done to offer you the best handheld in the world. This may not seem like a lot other than nice shiny images, but in fact what we've got is the optical component to the Lighthawk. Everybody's concerned about the LED power in lumens. Of course that's important for an LED, but a Lighthawk takes the power of the LED, collects the photons, and gives it a direction. How do you do that? With a nice shiny deep dish reflector. You've got to mate the LED, which obviously has to be high output and powerful, to a very shiny, well-engineered reflector. It's the optical package that makes the difference. Here's something interesting. Here's an actual LED on a board. Now, what's the importance of this? Notice the LED needs to be powered, hence the two wires behind it, okay? This gets mounted powered, put into the optical reflector, and voila, we've got an optical unit. It's interesting to see. These aren't fish eyes, these are LEDs. Here's an, an idea of how the bodies to the light clock come into the factory. These units aren't plastic, these are super tough nylon. The firefighting market is a tough one. It goes through rigorous environments heat, water, cooling. They even get run over sometimes. And how do they survive? Super tough nylon on the Lighthawk. We're the only ones. Aren't we in luck? Here's a box of young Lighthawks. What have we got? We've got the head partially assembled. This is the beginning of the spine, the actual electronics within the Lighthawk. This is a very sophisticated lighting tool. This is like the spine, where all the information is transferred to the very important PC board in the back. Switch, connections for the power core, the power source itself. Let's see how all this is done. 